there, gold seekers. This is Tim for Blue Lead Gold Productions. Uh, you can bet your bottom dollar on it. I'm back on the Yuba, and uh, it is hot out here today. I hate to say it, mid to upper 90s right now. I've been digging over here in this uh, uh, packed uh, gravel. This is a gravel pit that Brother Bert and I had dug out earlier. Now I'm taking the uh, rocks that um, I'm digging in the area that I'm digging in, tossing them down here, and just running the gravel through the Angus right here. Got a nice dig and dump action going in the Angus today. And here is our first 12 bucket clean out. And I'm pretty pleased with it. It's loaded with shiny little flakes. And we got One loose standards picker there. Two loose standards pickers there. And that should be three loose standards pickers there. So I gotta be happy with that. That's a good start for the day. I'm gonna get digging some more. Actually, I'm gonna get in the river, cool off, and then get digging some more. Okay, so we just got four buckets through the Angus. And uh, I gotta go take a little swim over there to prevent heat stroke. It's warm. I've got my uh, bottle of Gatorade full of electrolytes cooling down in the stream here. And uh, I'm gonna feel real good after I get out of that water. Oh my goodness, that was clean and refreshing, cool. And now I gotta get back to the dig there. All right, well now we are starting to actually dig out a nice little shady spot here. Now I may have to sit back in there and rest and relax a little bit after I get it cleaned up and smoothed out some more because we are in fact cleaning up this bedrock here. Clean bedrock is beautiful bedrock, reclaiming its beauty. I've got eight buckets through the Angus now and those are the concentrates, but it's time for more swimming. That was good. Well, the day is moving on. I got eight buckets through the shoes. I'm gonna see if I can get rid of this berry vine nonsense over here. And then, I've always had good luck with roots. I'm gonna take that big old root ball, bash it up, and uh, toss it through the Angus. And then there'll be more gravel in here that I can dig out and toss through the Angus as well. I'm sure how I did those, but you sure get scratched up and banged up when you're gold mining. Oh, and just look at that. The Angus has got some nice V action and hits hungry. All right, the uh, time has come to bust up that big root ball right there and run it through the Angus. Well, gold seekers, this is precisely what we like to see. Look at what is hitting right there in the middle of that V. That nice looking lamp spread here. Picker, Bert might even call that a chisp. So I'm thinking we uh, stop a, a bucket short of the normal clean out here, pick that thing up out of the river and make sure we don't lose that. Oh, gold seekers, look at that one. That is just coarse and pretty and definitely easy to pick up. It's flat, but uh, it's a pretty little flake. It clicks on the Angus. Listen to it click on the Angus. nice okay so that was pretty nice finding that little piece just straggling along on the, the ramp into the angus and uh it is so very warm out here i mean this, this bedrock over here is warm to the touch but i'm going back in the water and this time i think i'll take you with me you can have a have a look at what it looks like when you take a nice cool refreshing day. Oh my, 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 
boy, that is so very, very good. Oh boy, that swim was nice. So uh, I'm gonna finish up my lunch, and then we'll plan out those concentrations. The G. Willikers Gold Seekers, it is just hotter than heaters in Hooterville out here today. I've had several swims now, and this, uh, I've done a lot of pans, but I gotta show you something here. Check out what comes out of this pan here because yeah, I think it's probably the nicest pan, nicest thing I've ever found in one of my pans. Let's just see if we'll do a little bit of a swirl around and do the big reveal. Oh my! Take a look at that, huh? Just take a look at that. Right here. That's a small nugget. That's probably about oh, maybe three quarters of a gram, I guess. But yeah, that's a listen. Listen to what that makes. Beautiful. Gotta love that. Oh boy, isn't that nice to find a nugget like that? Mother Yuba is treating me right today. So before I finish panning out the rest of that pan, and I can already see some nice, uh, nice pieces of gold in here. Uh, I'm going to make a smoke offering to Mother Yuba and give her proper thanks and respect. Mm, delicious. Well, that has got to be the nicest piece of gold I have ever found on the South Yuba. And um, oh, when, when Mother Yuba treats you so well, you just got to give back to her. Thanks, Mother. Now let's finish panning out the rest of this pan. I can already see something nice in it. Well, it pays to clean up that bedrock because take a look at all those shiny flakes. In addition, actually, we kind of did the whole the whole round uh, uh, in that we got a little nugget, we got a little chispa ramp straggler, we got a nice little beautiful little picker right there, a bunch of poker flakes, a bunch of flakes, and a few specks. So, what a nice variety assortment pack of gold we got. And that's because we were cleaning that bedrock pretty good under there. Now it's nice and shady. All right, well, we've got this area of the death cave cleared out nicely. I'm going to um, take some uh, water and wash this down, and we'll throw that through as kind of the last bucket of the day on stuff. In the meantime, I've shifted my efforts over here to this gravel catch that's right up against the bedrock wall of the canyon. And... Uh, I like to look at some of the gravel that's in there. Hopefully, uh, you know, there's some big, big, uh, shiny black rocks, heavier stuff for what's around here. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't find some gold in there. Well, gold seekers, as you can see, there's a lot of shade on my side of the canyon now. Uh, it is cooled off about 10, maybe even 15 degrees. It's cool and pleasant now. Well, it's not all that cool, but. I just had a nice final dip in the Yuba, and uh, I'm clean and refreshed. I'm admiring all this beautiful bedrock that I, I cleaned up in here today. It's kind of almost a death cave now that JC could be proud of. And uh, over here is where I dug my final buckets of the day. If you'll notice, this area here looks like that was part of this big quartz vein that runs all along here. There's a quartz vein runs all along here, and I think this quartz vein may have something to do with the nice, rough, uh, chunky gold that I've been finding at this spot, because a lot of that quartz vein is gone. The old timers came and they took it away. And then right here was a spot where it looks like there had been quartz vein, they dug it out, and then the hydraulic tailings um, that filled this river at one point, and back in what, I don't know, the 18... 50s, 60s, or 70s, probably 1850s, 60s, and 70s. Um, they've washed in. I got all those cobbles and raked them out and uh, have redone this area down here, Brother Bert. This one's all ready to kill. We had left a nice, clean, beautiful bedrock surface, but now it's got cobbles and is ready to catch gravel in the next flood. And I got that last pan of concentrates down there, so 
I'm gonna go fire off a salute to Mother Yuba and we'll see if there's gold in that one. Oh yeah, and this is just my favorite time of day down on the river. I love it when it cools off. It just gets there's a nice breeze. Everything's quiet and peaceful. This is banker's hours today. Banker's hours mining. So yeah, let's uh, see if we can fill up a uh, pipe and uh, fire off a final salute to Mother Yuba. All right, well, here we go. I know why I got gold today. I know why I found gold today. Uh, I relaxed. I took my time. I've made smoke offerings to Mother Yuba. I have cleansed and baptized and refreshed myself in her, in her healing waters. And now I suspect that there will be some gold in that final pan. Let's go find out. Well, just flakes in that last pan, but plenty of them. So let's take a look and see how we did on the uh, gold for the day. Oh yeah, it's been a good day on the Yuba today. Uh, take a look at that pan. That's the gold for the day. We got loads of little flakes. And uh, it's just a great assortment of gold. We got a nugget. Look at that lovely little nugget right there. Take it, drop it. It makes a nice, nice clip. Bert would call this one here a chispa. Because it's a bigger than the average picker i don't think it's big enough to be called a nugget but it's a that's a nice piece of gold there too isn't it? let's take a look at that i like that one that's all rough and pretty this one this one here is rough and pretty too this one did not travel far from the source it looks like and you know we got some nice picker pieces as well look at that that that's a nice little picker right there. Normally I'd be just delighted with that. And then uh, a couple loose standards pickers and loads of flakes. So what a grand and glorious day on the Yuba. Uh, until next time, everybody, this is Tim for Blue Lead Gold Productions. Sam, aloha. Aloha.